Hi, welcome to the podcast for When the Curves Line Up for August 1, 2024, featuring Venus' return to the evening sky. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 5.45 a.m. Central Daylight Time followed by sunset at 8.08 p.m. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky. During morning twilight, the eastern sky is decorated with two bright planets, several bright stars, and the crescent moon. One hour before sunrise, bright Jupiter, outshining all other stars this morning, is over 30 degrees up in the east. It is plodding eastward in front of Taurus, 6.4 degrees to Aldebaran's upper left, the bull's brightest star, and over 10 degrees to Elnitha's upper right, the bovine's northern horn. Mars, 6.4 degrees to Jupiter's upper right and 5.4 degrees to Aldebaran's upper left, marches eastward to overtake the Jovian giant on the 14th. Watch the gap close each morning. Mars is in the same binocular field with Aldebaran and the Hyades star cluster, together makes the V of Taurus to represent the bull's head. The Pleiades star cluster is nearly 9 degrees to Mars' upper right. Examine the cluster through a binocular. A few dozen stars are visible. Then move the binocular slightly so that the cluster appears near the upper left edge of the field of view. Stars 13 Tauri and 14 Tauri are toward the lower right. They are about the same brightness as aquamarine Uranus to their upper right. A telescope is needed to see the planet's tiny globe. Use the chart in the online article to help with the view. With Jupiter's brightness, this morning's whisker-thin crescent moon, 9% illuminated, is about 20 degrees up in the east-northeast. It is nearly 20 degrees to the upper right of the Gemini twins, Castor, and Pollux, that are near the horizon. Use a binocular to see Earth shine on the moon's night portion. Capture the scene with a tripod-mounted camera and exposures up to a few seconds. Do not confuse Jupiter with Capella, distinctly dimmer than the planet and less than halfway up in the east-northeast. Orion's brighter stars, Bellatrix, Betelgeuse, and Rigel, are low in the east below Jupiter and Mars. Use a binocular to see the hunter's belt stars. Procyon, meaning before the dog, is the next bright star to make its first morning appearance. It is first visible in less than 10 days at Chicago's latitude, followed a few days later by Sirius Heliacal Rising. This morning at this hour, Saturn is less than halfway up in the south-southwest. It is slowly retrograding in front of a dim Aquarius star field. The region has fewer stars than the Orion region of the sky. Tracking a planet's motion against the star field requires a binocular. The illusion of retrograde motion is from Earth overtaking the outer planets. Earth passes between the Ringed Wonder and the Sun in about a month. As our world overtakes and passes the more distant planets, the line of sight from Earth to the planet that normally points eastward as Saturn revolves, shifts westward for several weeks, causing the illusion that Saturn is moving backwards compared to the distant stars. Use a binocular to track Saturn's retrograde motion. In the evening sky. As Mercury recedes into bright sunlight, Venus emerges to make its first evening appearance low in the western sky at 30 minutes after nightfall. Setting 50 minutes after the sun, Venus gains nearly 10 minutes of setting time during the month, appearing higher each evening. Tonight, use a binocular to locate our nearest planetary neighbor less than 5 degrees above the west-northwest horizon. Depending on the sky's clarity, it might be visible without a binocular. In four nights, the crescent moon appears less than one degree above the planet at this time interval after sunset. Saturn rises 99 minutes after sunset. By three hours after the sun sets, it is about 15 degrees above the east-southeast horizon. On the 18th, Saturn rises as Venus sets at 55 minutes after sunset. This signals that the two planets can be seen in the sky simultaneously, although Venus remains in bright twilight until about September 10. Saturn is not easily visible during bright, early evening twilight. Again, tomorrow morning, Saturn is in the south-southwest before sunrise. 
The moon is to the Gemini twins right. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.